one more time so here in Florida all of our elected officials have been going up to Georgia carrying water for the Trump uh, phony vote thing whatever you know they're going up to Georgia because they know that Georgia's going to be key and they're going to go up there and uh, try to snuff out and, and suppress as many votes as possible just like DeSantos did here in Florida the margin of victory for him and and the Republicans and for the Biden campaign was just minuscule like a few thousand votes and um, so you know there's probably just if you count the people that got disenfranchised and the people that uh, you know like the 600,000 felons that were supposed to be able to vote that still didn't get a chance to vote because of the uh, Republican legislature here um, you know probably would have won this state but uh, you know of course the the uh, illegal and backstabbing tactics of the Republicans you know just continue 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 I, I'm sure they want to keep their base intact c so that Trump can start his own TV show or t be a televangelist or something you know and they've all made deals with the devil let's face it um, the this evangelical uh, even genitals whatever the hell they are you know deal about uh, uh you know you know I, I don't know why they would put up with trump other than you know they moved the uh he moved the uh embassy to uh in israel you know so that the you know their dream could come true of Armageddon and the end of everything and blah 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 these people don't give a shit about anything they they don't they think that uh, you know the world is ending and Jesus is coming back uh, you know what the hell's it been like over 2,000 years and you guys are still waiting um, he's not coming back you know sorry um, and then I'm I'm watching this guy you know um, it's bad enough that I you know, and I, I love the state of Florida. I mean, it's just such a beautiful place. I just can't stand these Republican assholes that have totally screwed this state up. Um, but I was listening to this guy, Rick Wills, I guess, who now uh, Democrats are in the evil, we're the evil people. You know, we're, we're starting the communist revolution. Jesus Christ, there's not one Democrat that I know that is communist anything. They just want a fair and equitable government that treats them, you know, normally. You know, that where they fall, it falls under the rule of law like it's supposed to. And um, I got to say that if you Republicans weren't such huge hypocritical assholes, you probably could have held on to a lot of voters you know that think a lot the same way you do about uh, you know money and tax breaks and everything else but the um, the mounting evidence of your dishonesty and backstabbiness and all the other crap that goes on with you people has totally screwed screwed you you're destroying yourselves with this foolishness so this guy Rick Wills is saying that all Democrats are evil and we need to get out of not only get out of the state of Florida but we need to get out of the country because they're coming for us who is coming for us the pretty boys out of South Florida you think anybody's afraid of the pretty boys uh, or the proud idiots or whatever their name is no they're just bully assholes, you know, backshooters and uh, backstabbers and, um, you know, cold cock you from the side type of people. They're not stand up in front of you and actually really want to have a fight. 
God forbid. And if you think for one minute that the millions and millions of Democrats in Florida and in the United States, which, by the way, outnumber you by hundreds of millions of people, and you want to stand up and have a fight, you know, hey, he was going, yeah, bring it on, bring it to the streets. Well, hell, we've been bringing it to the, Democrats have been bringing it to the streets now for several years. And all I've seen is, uh, you know, complicit cops and, uh, um, you know, bully assholes uh, sneaking around, you know. Anytime there's a actual fair fight, you guys leave. You guys scurry away like the the little uh, cowards that you are. You know, let me remind you that Florida is a stand-your-ground state. You know, and most adults that I know, not all of them, but, uh, you know, people like me, I keep my little, you know, weapon cleaned and I make sure I have ammunition. So I would like almost nothing better than a proud boy to walk onto my property or some other right wing asshole with a loaded weapon. You know, that's like one of my fantasies, you know. And, and I would be standing my ground when walking on my property with a loaded weapon. It could only be, you know, self-defense if I take you out. You know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to have violent confrontation. But don't think for one minute that somebody like me and millions of other American patriotic Democrats don't think the way I think and are capable, you know, if it gets right to, right on down to it, you know, there's a whole lot of ex-military guys that put their weapons away a long time ago, but they still got them, they still know how to use them, you know, just because you guys want to walk around in your, all your gear and all your hats and all that shit, it doesn't make you tough. As a matter of fact, it makes you kind of pussyfied, really. You know. Anyway, I don't want to keep going on this. These, these guys are just total loser assholes, and you know, I don't know what to say other than uh, um, you're, you're. This is something that's going to go on. You know, this whole Trump demagoguery thing is going to go on and on and on well after the elections, well after Joe Biden's sworn in. And all we can do as Democrats is fight back and stand our ground against these bully, fascist Nazis, basically. You know, the these Zionists, these uh, people who want to do nothing but create havoc like in the middle in the Middle East and um, and in our country and for no other reason than that, that they actually believe that you know in all their stupid crap you know that Jesus is coming back and this is the end times and blah 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 hey it's been the end times for thousands of years you know and it could really be the end times. That's why they don't care about global warming because they think, well, that's just God's will. And they don't care, you know, 45,000 little children under two die every day from starvation and war and, uh, you know, and disease and stuff. Yeah, that doesn't bother them. What bothers them is uh, these fake um, unborn children or some nonsense, you know, like that. Anyway, um, Rick Wills, screw you. You're nothing but a moron and an idiot. And uh, the same goes for all these other, you know, uh, 
assholes. I'm, I was trying to come up with a nice word, but I couldn't. That are, uh, you know, Trump supporting, taking it. We're going to take it to the streets and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, come on. Sure, bring it on. That's what I got to say. Anyway, I'll catch y'all later.